name is Luis and I am from OM Tech Laser. We're located here in our showroom in Southern California. This will be our first video of our project walkthrough series. In this video, we will be using one of our four wheel rotary devices to engrave a tumbler. I will be going over how to properly set up the rotary device with our machine and how to properly set up the parameter settings through Lightburn for the rotary device. In this specific 80 watt model, I would need to remove the honeycomb bed and the knife bed and remove the front panel in order to properly set up this four wheel rotary device. Once you have removed the honeycomb bed and part of the knife bed, you will then be able to accommodate and place the four wheel rotary device inside the machine. You need to make sure that before you disconnect the Y axis and connect the rotary device, you need to place the laser head on the center line of the four wheel rotary device. Once you have placed your laser head towards the center line of the rotary device, you will then disconnect the Y axis, connect the rotary device. Then you will lower the bed in order to place your tumbler of your desired size into the rotary device. And then you will focus your laser onto the tumbler. In Libran, you will go to tools. You would go to rotary setup, choose roller and enable rotary device. For steps per rotation, we would recommend to start at 3000. The roller diameter of the four wheel rotary device is around 2.5 inches. The object diameter will vary on your tumbler. In our example, ours is 3.5 inches in diameter. You will then press OK. You will then download or upload your specific design that you would want to engrave. Here we have our OM Tech logo. I have it in the engraving black layer. These are the settings that I will be using. 150 speed at 25% power. Again, we are using an 80 watt machine. Here I would, I'm just going to modify our logo. I am going to ungroup it in order to modify our circular logo. I would then have to group group it. Then I would be able to rotate it. From here, you will then be able to trace your image on the tumbler by pressing frame. And you will be able to see the exact area where the laser will engrave the project on your tumbler. Once your machine has completed engraving your tumbler, you will then remove the tumbler from the machine. Now, depending on the quality of your tumbler and the material, you may or may not need to clean the engraved area with a cleaning wipe. You can use alcohol to rub the engraved area and kind of clean, clean out the, some of the residue that's left from the engraving process. Once you're done using the rotary device, don't forget to disconnect it and connect back your Y axis and then reset the machine. That will be the end of our project walkthrough. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or contact us through our website email. Thank you for watching.